had the mammogram on a Tuesday afternoon and Friday afternoon, I received a call that they had seen some irregularities on the mammogram. And they told me that I probably need to schedule a biopsy. The cancer navigator here at United Regional, uh, Ellen Cannon, called me and told me, you know, just, just be calm. You don't know anything yet. I start with individuals um, when they have abnormal mammograms um, or ultrasounds and they are told they have to have a biopsy. That is very alarming to people because not all biopsies turn out to be cancer. I walked her through uh, the next steps of trying to figure out getting the biopsy scheduled, how to get that taken care of. She held my hand the whole time during the biopsy. The fact that you had somebody there and she was just saying, okay, this is what they're going to do. Just breathe in, it'll be over in a second. She was so caring and so compassionate. Friday afternoon, I received on my chart again the report and in the report it said I had carcinoma, the C word, you know, which is pretty scary. I didn't call anybody in my family yet. I went down the hall to Christy Faulkner and I sat in her office and we talked about it. When somebody gets their report and it's all very hard to understand, I want them to know that with each individual, their treatment plan is not going to be the same as their neighbor or their coworker. Um, and so I try to just help break down what that report means. I reached out to Dr. Brett May and he saw me and he said I had a couple of options. Um, I could do a lumpectomy or I could, with radiation, or I could do a mastectomy. And, you know, I had seen all these, these words in the my chart report, and I really didn't have a good understanding of what they meant. But I went to see Dr. Reddy, um, and he told me that the type of cancer I have isn't treatable by, it's not estrogen based, it's not progesterone based, so they can't give me any medication to stop the cancer. They don't know where the cancer's coming from. And he told me if it was his mother or his sister, he would recommend that they have a double mastectomy. On the day that I was scheduled to have the mastectomy, I came in and, and I was upstairs and they were getting me ready for the surgery. The nurses came in and they said, how are you doing? I said, I'm pretty nervous. I said, I may cry. And they said, it's okay if you do, we'll cry with you. And it was just, it was just, a, this sounds really crazy because I had a life threatening situation, but it was a wonderful experience. I wouldn't trade my experience. I would love to have not had cancer. I would love to have not had to have a double mastectomy. I would love to, to be whole. But if I had to have all of that, the experience I had here, it could not have been any better. After, after they removed the breast, they did further biopsy of the breast. And they realized the tumor was larger than what they thought. And it had, um, they called it micro-invasion. So now it had moved outside of the milk duct. And so Dr. Reddy told me if I'd waited even six months, it could have been a totally different story that I might've had to undergo radiation or chemo afterwards. Thankfully, I am now considered cancer free. Um, but it was a tough journey. Women become survivors uh, right after they are diagnosed and they start their treatment. Um, but I am thrilled that Stephanie is a survivor and she will totally maintain and be a champion. She will help us let other women know what they need to do to get the early detection because early detection for breast cancer is the best prevention. We just want every patient to stay on their schedule so that we can catch these things as early as possible. The ladies in our department are amazing. 
They will get you in and out in no time with you feeling comfortable and you feeling like family and like you've been taken care of. For anybody that's hesitant to get a mammogram, I would tell you do it. The timing of when I went allowed me more time with my grandchildren, allowed me more time with my kids. Get your mammogram. Don't delay. Get it. Make sure you're okay. And then next year, get it again. And the year after that, get it again so that you catch this horrible disease early enough that you can manage it. I am Stephanie McDonnell, just a regular person, but I am a cancer survivor.